and you know that the devil has possessed you. God bless you. It's all Jesus. It's a surrender life, bro. You know? So. Oh man, try to be like Jesus. Paul said, follow me as I follow Jesus. You know? It's in you. It's in you. It's in you. I'm telling you, it's our nature. For God to create man in his image and his likeness. It means everywhere we go, our actions, our reactions, our character, our language, imitate Jesus. Why? Because when you're in Jesus, you you love what he loves and you hate what he hates. And you don't even try to spread Jesus. Your own self spread Jesus for itself. And they begin to ask you, bro, why are you so nice? Why are you so different? Why are you always smiling? And you give them, you give them the gospel. You can be saved too. It's in you, bro. There's a fire in you, bro. Do whatever it takes, man. May we pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you anoint this vessel. May you fill him with your fire, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Everything that is not of God, I command you out in the name of Jesus. Lose his soul, lose his life, lose his destiny in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, you touched him. You touched him and you have a purpose for him. Lead him, guide him, empower him to cast out devils, to heal the sick in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Use him as an evangelist with your power, Lord. Fill him by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name, thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, use him, Father, for your kingdom. Use him in the name of Jesus. In the name of just to save souls, to make hell empty and heaven full. In Jesus' mighty name, thank you, Lord, because in your eyes, you see him as someone special. You don't see like the world sees. You see inwardly. This man is faithful. This man has a great heart. This man, if they hurt him, he won't hurt them back. Lord, you have chosen him to show your attributes to this world. Empower them in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless y'all so much. You have a good one, bro. God take care. Take care, bro. Let's say we're going to keep in touch and just bounce off the ideas off each other. Hey, not a problem, man. Hey, God bless you, everybody. Welcome to the Witness Channel once again, where our mission is to make hell empty and heaven full. I have exciting news. We'll be interviewing a famous YouTuber known as Joel TV. Very, very soon is an impacting story where he died, he went to hell. And he'll be telling us more about his experience. And I know that it will bless your life, so please stay tuned. Without Jesus, there is no salvation. The Bible says, that at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. I want to let you know today that if you can believe in Jesus, you can be saved only through Jesus. There is two places that we will end up after we die, and that is heaven or hell. And Jesus wants to protect you from hell. God does not send people to hell. We send ourselves to hell because we rejected God. This is the ticket to heaven. Believe in Jesus and He will sanctify you. He will wash you from the very thing that has separated you from your Creator in that is sin. And He will empower you by the Holy Spirit to hate sin and love what He loves. Love righteousness, holiness, and the truth. Jesus wants to save your soul. And maybe you're here in this place and you know that the devil has possessed you. You know the devil has done everything to steal from you, to kill you, and to destroy your life. Without Jesus, there is no life. Without Jesus, there is no true peace. I give you the message that is the answer to every human being. Look, I don't care your, about your education. I don't care what school you attend or how much money is in your bank account. Everyone will stand before God and your money cannot do nothing for you. Your mansions won't do nothing for you. Do you believe in Jesus, brother? Oh, God, may the anointing and the power of the Holy Spirit come with you. God bless you. you Amen. You I'll see you in heaven in Jesus' name. Thank you all so much. God bless.
So the time has come where we're about to interview the man that died, went to hell, and he returned to tell his story. Joel TV, what's up, bro? What's good, what's good? Man. What's good, the witness, man? Oh, man. Hey, it's two testimonies in one. Can I hold it? Okay, yeah. It's two testimonies. I'm going to go with the quick testimony. So a lot of you guys don't even know, you know how small this world is? Me and him went to the same church. Well, it was his church and the church I first got delivered it was the church, it was called Generational Rise Up, so I want to say that. So and now, also, uh, I'm going to start off with the testimony. So I got delivered twice. Um, basically, you know, I was going through a lot of witchcraft, and I was cheating on my wife. Y'all know, I was doing the gold digger pranks, making millions of dollars. I'm going to make it quick, too, for y'all. So uh, I got delivered twice, and my wife was like, this has been going on for two years. I kept cheating on her. So after I got delivered twice, she kind of gave up on me. So the last time I got delivered, I looked on Isaiah Salvador. If y'all know, he got a map that everybody, wherever you at, you, a map. deliverance map. So that's where I found Generational Rise Up. I got delivered there for the third time. Once again, I didn't know that it was witchcraft on me. And I was free, but once again, I was stuck in bondage. So I couldn't stop messing with this girl. So, you know, I'm praying to God and I'm starting to get mad now. You know, my, I want my family back. And now I feel like God is not answering me, not knowing that I got to come to the end of myself. So I'm still cheating on the girl that did witchcraft on me and witchcraft that's involved. So I'm at the hotel, I'm mad at God. And mind you, since I got delivered, you know, when you get delivered, the demons come back seven times. So I'm not really doing the bad stuff I was doing when I was heavy into drugs and all that. So this particular time, um, I decided to buy some drugs. You know, my wife already told me she was done with me. I go to Houston, I'm with the girl, and I'm in this hotel. And I take the drugs. I used to do a thousand milligrams, a thousand milligrams. So 100 milligrams that I bought, not even supposed to get me hot because, you know, I've been used to that. So I do 100 milligrams and it's two in the afternoon. I go to the hotel, I get hot mind you you supposed to get hot 30 minutes you know if y'all do drugs i don't permit it i don't want to put that out there but it took about two hours and i instantly fall asleep so now after this moment it's going to get a little bit scary so like i'm in my body and i'm having a heart attack and i'm able to see myself like you like we actually positioned perfectly i'm he is me but i'm able to still see and feel so i'm having a heart attack and it feels so it's so much pain but i'm watching myself die it's a 360 view, you see every single thing. So after I died, you get a split second and you walk, you know, you looking around and I notice the TV and I'm like, it's terrible acting because it was something on. So whatever the girl that I was cheating on my wife with, it was terrible acting. And then immediately I start going down and I'm starting to see the realms. The earth was like a small vapor, the realm we was in, it was like puppets or cartoons. And as I'm going down, I'm hearing such a big boom noise. The noise was so loud. The noise was so loud. It was like speakers in my ear and it had a demonic laugh. The demonic laugh had many voices like a legion, but I knew it was only one demon. And it's just ha ha ha. And as I'm thinking, you don't talk. So you think you got to get a response. If you don't get a response, I don't know what's going to happen, but you're going to get a response. So I'm thinking, I'm like, where am I going? You're going to hell. That's what the demon is saying to me, but I'm hearing him laugh at once and I'm getting it back in my head. And then as I'm falling, I just hear this boom noise. It's so loud. And I'm thinking like, oh my God, I'm dying in my sins. I'm thinking about Jesus, but some is, I, I'm not saying his name, but I'm going down and I'm panicking. I'm panicking, I'm thinking about everything. Like I had chances, I had profits. And y'all, I cut a lot out because like I said, this is his video, you have to go to the main testimony. And um, if y'all don't know, the church that we go to, genera uh, Generational Rise Up, a prophet, prophet sided over me and said a girl was doing witchcraft. On me. So it's so much I left out just to speed it up. But I'm just strictly talking about the hell testimony. So I'm thinking about everybody that warned me to stop what I was doing. If I really wanted Jesus, I would have did it. So I'm thinking about everything all at once. And I'm almost just like scratching myself. Like, you know, I'm just screaming, God, God. And in my testimony, I said, God ain't had no power. But what I was meaning was I only had to call on Jesus. So when I said Jesus, I came back in my body about five times and then I'm able to look around. Yeah, wow. I'm able to look around. So I'm seeing what the girl is doing. My heart is beating, get sucked back in, into the spirit realm. And now I'm freaking out and I'm like, yo, I'm really not getting out of this. They playing with me. This is some type of trance. And man, it was just the worst 
feeling I ever felt in my life. It was so scary, just the music. It was a demonic instrumental. It was such an instrumental I can't even explain. And you just get so much knowledge. It's like you're super smart, but you don't want to be smart because you so you just stuck off the fact that you never getting out. So you don't be like, oh, I just seen that realm. I just seen this. You don't. It's just a trance, everything fast, but slow at the same time. And you noticing it, and it's just freaking you out. Like, yo, yo, you hearing a demon laughing at you. I actually seen a demon. There was a demon in front of me, but the head, and it's like, I couldn't, it was like, I was only able to see the body. Yeah, it was, it was crazy, and I was stuck. And it was just thoughts of like, why did I do this? And the answers would come back immediately. The answers would come back immediately, and it would haunt me. And I couldn't scratch myself, but I was just, like, curled up, like just, no! And I'd come back to my body. Same thing happened, boom, come back to my body. Jesus, Jesus. Then one last time I came back, boom. Got back in my body, but I did that so many times, like five times, that I thought I was gonna do it again. So the girl, like, freaking out, cause she see me freaking out. I'm like, yo, yo, I just went to hell. I just went to hell. And as I'm freaking out, she like, them drugs, your schizophrenia, she said that. I got to explain it to her, everything she was doing, and she paused. And I got to even tell her words she was saying. Because in the midst of me being asleep, I told you I went to sleep probably at like four or probably three. You know, I was, she said I was asleep from that time all the way to when I woke up at 7.30 a.m. Oh now, I can tell you, I've been high before. You'll go to sleep for about five hours and wake up and you just, you know, you're high gone. 100 milligrams is not gonna make you go to sleep for about 15 hours. Cause we sleep about what, eight hours? So I was sleep about the eight hours plus the 3 p.m. hours that was there and I woke up. So I ended up telling her this and she said she did not see me get up. So how did I know that? And she was like, take me home. I left my clothes and I'm panicking. Then this girl started manifesting and started getting mad at me because I seen hell. So I'm like, I'm not gonna say nothing to this girl. I'm just gonna take her home. I know what I seen. I couldn't hear loud music. My body was weak. I was shaking. And I was just so terrified and I was like, yo, I'm never, I've never talked to the girl ever again. It's like that scare broke off witchcraft itself, literally. Cause I got delivered three times. One at the church we go to, Generational Rise Up. My other um, Christian brother, Austin, and I would feel free. Don't get me wrong, every deliverance I felt free, but I didn't know about witchcraft. I didn't know about strongholds. I didn't know about none of that stuff. And my wife didn't either. So when I get delivered, I have probably a month I had probably a month of doing good, but I would just go back to what I was doing. And it was like, God allowed me to see that. And I've been telling everybody on the internet, I've been getting bashed because people gotta understand, like as a YouTuber, I had everything and all that stuff was meaningless. And if I was lying about this, I wouldn't wanna lie and get bashed. I would just go back to doing what I was doing, making thousands of dollars, millions, right? Yeah. So I don't gain nothing out of this, not even if I was doing this for the devil. What do I gain out of lying? Y'all ain't gonna go to hell, this is gonna scare y'all. What have I gained out of lying about Jesus and saying, oh, I lied about Jesus for clout. So I'm here not to try to persuade y'all, but just to tell y'all like, yes, I've been in hell. Heaven in hell is real. So just like when I die, you gotta go somewhere immediately. Immediately, as soon as you recognize where you're going, you're going somewhere. Yeah, man, so. Man, man powerful testimony, impacting testimony. This is Joel TV. If you're interested in listening to the full testimony, we'll have we'll have the video, the link to his video in the description below. Yeah. So thank y'all so much for tuning in. Joel TV. Yeah. God bless you, bro. God Very bless. impacting. Yep. So God bless y'all. Stay tuned for the next video in Jesus' name.